Hello everybody, it's Victor from Cardiac Wire, and today I'm joined by Jonathan Draper. He's the product marketing manager here at Circle Cardiovascular Imaging. We're gonna talk a little bit about what's new at RSNA 2025 for them. With that, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit? Thanks, Victor, good to be here with you. I'm Jonathan Draper. I've been with Circle Cardiovascular Imaging for about six years, um, and I think this is getting close to my 20th year at RSNA, so it's always fun to be back in Chicago and uh, see what's the latest. Wonderful, uh, could you go a little bit deeper on what Circle's got going on here this year? Sure. So we've got a few things that we're showing at RSNA this year. Um, I'll highlight three. Uh, the first, first is our new plaque analysis, so CVI-42 plaque. Uh, we received FDA clearance for it, but it's uh, um, AI uh, coronary plaque analysis for cardiac imagers. Um, we've also got a new vascular CT solution for uh, analysis, uh, pre-procedural planning, and follow-up of uh, aortic peripheral and carotid disease. Um, and then also because we know integrations are so important here and reporting is a big part of what we do. Um, so we've got a new uh, integration that we've done with PowerScribe. Wonderful. Could you go a little bit deeper on your new plaque analysis software? I know it was a pretty big deal for you guys. Yeah, uh, sure. Um, so definitely a, a big thing that we worked towards for the last couple of years. Um, some of the things that are really key about it is the fact that it's an on-premise solution. So that makes it unique in its class. Um, the fact that the uh, physicians can access the, the coronary plaque analysis um, on a local server in their hospital. Um, they don't have to send out and wait for results to come back in, but they can analyze things. Uh, they've got full control over the, the results of the AI analysis so they can make any edits, uh, but they can get the reporting done right away. And they're just kind of in, in control of everything from the reporting to billing analysis. So I know you mentioned that's kind of a unique feature to you. Could you go a little bit more in depth on those differentiating factors and, and who you had in mind when you were developing them? Sure. Um, so, I mean, the people that we were looking at are, the, are those that are um, you know, triaging uh, chest pain. So uh, when patients come in with chest pain, they can get a, a CTA scan done. And after that initial analysis, um, they can send it off for a coronary plaque analysis to help give more information about whether they need to you know, go for an aggressive statin, just monitor, um, or go to the cath lab. And so time is so important in that uh, decision. And so we're really focusing on sites that are, are looking to streamline their efficiency, their workflow, um, and keep that keep that control for themselves. In terms of your platform's integration with uh, PowerScribe, could you go a little bit deeper on that as well? Yeah. So we, uh, we have a reporting solution in our application, but we know that many of our customers, they like to get those results that we have out to PowerScribe or other reporting systems out to the EHR. So we've, we've done a lot of integration things over the past, DICOM SR, HL7, uh, but this new integration with PowerScribe, just with the click of a button, they can send all of the results that are coming from CVI-42, which are copious. With, with uh, MR and CT, there's just a lot of information that comes out of that. So with a click of a button, send it over to PowerScribe and it will populate into their templates. Um, you get rid of a lot of errors, copy paste mistakes, transcription problems. So that's what that's about. And in terms of anything new that we should be on the lookout for? Um, things that are coming down the pipeline. Um, so more along uh, the CT front, we've got uh, pericoronary, pericoronary adipose tissue. Uh, so I'm not lo looking at just um, inflammation within the arteries, but outside the arteries. So just more information to help guide that decision treatment. Um, there's other things coming around, late iodine enhancement, ECV for CT. Um, so all of the, the tissue characterization um, strengths that we have in MR are bringing over to the CT side as well. Wonderful. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much for your time today. It's really exciting to see what Circle's got going on here at RSNA and what's coming next. I've been Victor. This is Cardiac Wire. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.